Miss Lumpkin here, and today's life skills video is going to be about laundry. Um, so if you are watching, sometimes I like to make little notes for myself. So I did a light clothing and a dark clothing. Um, so you can either ask your parents to make something for you or you can make something with maybe a light color and a dark color. Um, that way it can help you separate your clothes. And if you're with me, grab your laundry basket full of dirty clothes and let's get started. All right, hi guys. Um, you're gonna need three things for today's lesson. So the first thing that you're gonna need is your pieces of paper. So I did one with dark clothing, one with light clothing, and I'm gonna lay them down in front of me to help me sort. The second thing that you're gonna need is your laundry basket. And your laundry basket might not look like mine, but that's okay, whatever you use to keep your dirty clothes in. And then of course, the main course, your dirty laundry. So go ahead and get those three things out so that we can get started. And Miss Lumpkin is now gonna turn the camera facing down so that you can see my light and my dark clothing signs to help us sort. Okay, so as you can see, we have our light clothing sign here and our dark clothing sign here. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at some of Miss Lumpkin's clothes here that I'm about to wash and go ahead and sort them. So, the first thing that I have is my handy dandy Christmas PJs. They got fun trees and um, trucks on them and they're awesome. So if we look at the color, we see that it's like a dark navy and we got some reds and greens. So this would be considered dark clothing. So we'll go ahead and put that on that side for dark clothing. Alrighty, the next thing we have is just a plain old blue t-shirt. Okay, and it's just cloth and it's a blue t-shirt. And so because it's so light, it almost looks white, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the light clothing. All right, let's keep going. We have got some shorts. Um, these are like my gym shorts. They're probably super stinky. And they are kind of a navy and white. And yes, even though they have like the white stripes, they're uh, overly, you know, they're mostly um, dark. So we're gonna put them in the dark clothing pile. All right, so, so far we've got one light color and two dark colors. Now, something that I wanna share with you guys is that if your mom and dads have done your laundry, they might separate even more than darks and lights, but we're gonna keep it simple for now. But a good thing to do is to ask your parents to check behind you after you sort, just to make sure there's not anything in there that may need to be washed separately. I'll show you an example. Okay, so my example here is I have this really pretty sweater that I like to wear, but you can see that it has like, it's really thin and it's got pretty little details on it, right? So it's, it's pretty nice. And usually you'd wash that separately because it's so nice. So even though it looks like a light color, you might wanna wash something delicate by itself. We call that delicates.
video, we're not actually going to wash our clothes. We just practiced sorting. Um, and so I just encourage you while you're at home, help around the house and do some laundry so that you can practice sorting. So if you want to grab your laundry basket and go ahead and start with lights and darks, maybe you can even do some laundry for your sibling, you know, just being nice, doing a random act of kindness, or you can kind of do an exchange like I do your laundry, you do the dishes, you know, you guys can swap, but it's a great way to practice sorting your colors and if you keep watching this YouTube station, um, you will see a how to do the laundry um, video where you can take what you've sorted and go ahead and start washing them. So guys, I know this was short, but I am just so excited to do these videos for you guys. I hope they help you and um, just know that it's important. You can't just stick it all in the wash. Um, all at one time or crazy things will happen. Ask your parents for some stories. I'm sure they have one. Um, but it is super important to help your help around the house and become independent um, citizens of this world. And I just can't wait to see some of your videos of doing these things, but also that when we go back to school or we go back to club or we go back to see each other, that you will have learned so many new skills during this crazy time, but also great opportunity to learn new skills. So please message me on how you thought about it, what you thought, how you did, or if you have any questions. Thanks for coming.